And federal authorities say the Mississippi Department of Corrections failed to protect the basic human rights of its inmates. 12 News, Tia McKenzie is live from MDOC headquarters. Tia, which rights are MDOC accused of violating? Melanie, the U.S. Department of Justice announced some horrific findings in its investigation against MDOC. Findings include sexual violence and assaults or fights every other day at three state prisons, Central Mississippi Correctional Facility, the Wilkinson County Correctional Facility, and the South Mississippi Correctional Facility. The four-year investigation revealed that gangs controlled facilities had access to phones and contraband or illegal items. The DOJ notes violence violations of the Eighth Amendment, which bars cruel and unusual punishments, and the Fourteenth Amendment, which guarantees equal protection under the law for all citizens. U.S. Attorney General Christian Clark says the three detention centers must see reform. We look forward to working with the state to institute comprehensive reforms to address the systemic issues that we have identified. We ultimately hope uh, to institute these reforms by way of a consent decree that will include some period of monitoring to ensure that those reforms are instituted effectively. The DOJ report also notes that prisons are dangerously understaffed with as many as 50 percent of each prison's correctional officer positions left vacant. 12 News has reached out to MDOC for comment. We're still waiting to hear back. Live from MDOC headquarters, Tia McKenzie, 12 News.